for something different for my birthday, Dave bought me an art night. So I don't know if you've heard of this, but art nights were basically you went to a pub mm. and there was a trained artist and you all got a blank canvas and you all sat there while you're drinking trying to recreate the, the art piece. Yeah. Um, and I enjoyed that one. And then I did that four or five of us and then obviously COVID hit. But right. it just opened up that, you know, I don't just have to do digital stuff. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm I'm not I'm doing the daily prompts. I'm not doing as many, but I'm doing these tutorials to then go that next level up. So to be able to work on some of the, the color depth and tone and things like that and make things a bit more realistic and popping and things like that. So mm -hmm. Well, and first of all, I want to—I saw the picture of when you did go to that—that um, that, on your Facebook page, there was you with the class and the mm -hmm. canvas and everything, and you were at the pub. Yeah, yeah. Which it's so weird for me to say pub. I mean, I know that's like here we say bar. So when I say pub, I'm like I feel like I'm trying to be pretentious, but it's like no, that's what you called it. Um, but uh, uh, my favorite part is I was looking at that and I was seeing you painting in it, and I was like, oh, we have those here. We used to have an actual bar that was specifically you. It was a painting and it was painting and a bar. You went there to yeah. do that. My favorite thing is clearly that wasn't what the place you went to was because in the background on the TV, big screen is WCW wrestling going on. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. That, that that's in an art. <laughs> yeah. an art gallery. I think the second art night I went to, um, well, the first one we were upstairs in our own room. That was brilliant. The second one we were actually in the pub. We mm -hmm. had a couple of tables and there were everybody around you. And as the night progressed, more and more people were getting a bit oh what's that you know they, they couldn't quite <laughs> so it was quite interesting um, and then the one in Leeds that was it was a very small pub and I think it was very ambitious to try and do an art class in such a small pub <laughs> that was quite so busy but it, it was it was fun as well yeah no it looked like you guys were having a good time I just it, I caught the tv in the background and I'm like wrestling's yeah, yeah. on that's pretty funny um but the beauty of those nights though is everybody got the same tools everybody got the same blank canvas and everybody listened to the same instructions and everybody's art piece at the end was different yeah exactly because everybody interpreted things differently so we did the Frida Kahlo one um, one person, her the eyebrows was a full-on monobrow. Okay. And she did so many features that were really quite dark, but she really went for it. She'd kind of gone a bit too far, but it kind of worked because it was consistent across the piece. So even though it didn't look anything like the one we were doing, as a whole, it was brilliant because everything was consistent. Uh-huh. If that makes sense. We did a grumpy cat one, and there was one woman there, <laughs> and I do think she may have had dementia because she her husband talked to the group and she was a little bit and she did something completely different but in a way even though it was nothing like grumpy cat it was actually quite a work of art on its own and, well, she and there are no herself, wrong so. answers either that's exactly. the thing it's not it's not a high school test where it's like there's an a b or c answer there's you know everything is a d answer fill in you know other yeah, yeah. <laughs> what what is your uh background i mean i know you're taking a lot of you are involved in a lot of groups and you've already mentioned like different prompts you follow different Facebook groups. Yeah, yeah. And so what, and you, you said you're learning different types of techniques from this. Yeah. What is your background before you started using all these groups or started getting involved in all these things? So if I go back to school, I was always interested in art, but mm -hmm. it's the old fashioned, your parents are a bit, Oh no, you don't want to do art. You want to do something different. So I did art of the GCSE, which is your, um, you'd have them as high school exams, so before college. Um, so I did out then, and then after that, it's just been a hobby, which, you know, I've still got drawings from when I was 10, and I'm, I'm 41 now, so that's right. how long ago it is. But um, So when I went to college, it was very much business studies. Oh, okay. Businessy stuff. Nothing wrong with um, that. But then in my second year, one of the tutors was learning to become an IT tutor, so she needed some guinea pigs, so we were learning about DOS and Windows 3.1. That gives you an idea of how oh, it was Windows 95 had just starting to come as well. Right. Um, so then when I went to university, I did a degree in business information systems, which was about 20% business, 80% computing. Um, and then work's been more, it was IT initially, and now it's been more third sector, so community engagement. Um, I ran a program for social... Um, social inclusion and social isolation so basically it was about whether you could use 
the internet and social media to combat social isolation. So I had like a cohort of people and some were elderly and just wanted help about you know doing their online shopping and being able to keep in touch with family and this was before one... say zoom and video conferencing and all that yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. yeah okay yeah um and then one of them was he was a, a substance addict who was an ex-offender who was also semi-dyslexic and we used the tablet for him to be able to brush up on his his um his literacy skills and also had apps on there so that when he got letters or emails the letter would read it out to him so that mm -hmm. he could understand things like that and then for the last five years I've worked for a social procurement cons uh, uh, organization so basically all our uh, members are social landlords mm -hmm. um, and I deal with the social value which is about all the construction companies that are doing work for those social landlords take on apprentices so it's kind of max, matching, matching all the stuff that I did in the social side for third sector and the IT side and the people side. But all along that, I've made sure that the art side of things is my is my me time, basically. Right. Um, it's how it's you're unwinding is what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I um I've always I've always enjoyed doodling and things like that, but it was two and a half years ago I got my iPad. Um, and I've pretty much done daily prompts every day since. Mm -hmm.